Agent what? What the hell was this thing? I'm not sure, sir. Some sort of sentient parasite, maybe. But it all makes sense now, doesn't it? This thing, this black oil must have come from the sarcophagus. Kept inside that Mayan man, and the magnetic trap. The archaeologist broke the magnetic field, and this thing slipped into his body. But he got shot, so it jumped into a more functional host, Katie Adams. And after the girl removed the nitrogen, she got caught in the cavern. So it must have picked a new host, the sheriff's son. Then the old fool botched our ambush, and the parasite is now inside him. And we have no goddamn idea how to deal with it this time. Actually, sir, did you notice how it reacted when Bill turned over that burning barrel? You were close to this black oil thing, but the fire was in its way. So it doesn't want to get burned, huh? Good thinking, agent. We might have a way out of this yet. We'll think of something. But first we should get to the radio tower and stop this thing from sending its signal. Whatever it's for, it can't be good. The lights are on. The signal will go online any minute now. Then we have to hurry. Listen closely, agent, there's no time to repeat or debate this. I know how we might kill this thing. Going inside is suicide, but we can still turn this trap around. The parasite is afraid of fire, right? And the signal of such power generates a lot of heat. That's what the radiators and the nitrogen tanks are for, to vent this heat. But if we break the cooling system, the tower will go up in flames. But the thing will just run out and vanish in the woods. We can't stop it, unless... Unless one of us goes inside, handcuffs themselves to the pipework and shoots the sheriff. That should force the parasite out and into the only host left. Correct, agent. Either way, the black oil burns. Well, the way I see it, this whole mess is on you, and on whomever you were talking to on your phone. Now face the consequences. As much as I hate to admit it, you're right, agent. My real mission was to escort the sarcophagus. I arranged for it to enter the country. After the train wreck I was called in to contain the situation. The exact nature of this thing they never told me. Then I saw what it could do, saw it with my own eyes. I can't let something this dangerous go free, or turn it over to them. I just can't. If it takes my life, well I'll do it. Wait, but who ordered you to do all this? Who were you talking to on your phone? No time for that now, agent. Once we stop this signal, you'll have all the time in the world to find the answers you need. I trust you can handle it. It's all on my phone. Take it. There are coordinates inside, the original delivery point for the sarcophagus. Start digging. Drag these bastards into the light. Now go wreck that cooling system. I'm going in, should give you a minute or two. Lock the door tight and keep it shut no matter what. Is that an order, sir? It is, agent. Now go, quickly. We can't let this thing escape, or send its signal. Think, Bali, every second counts. That should secure the door. No one goes out. I promise, Bowman. I've cut the coolant supply. Now the signal will set the tower ablaze. No more coolant. Now the signal will set the tower ablaze. And no one gets out. I promise Bowman that. Agent, agent, are you there? Look, Agent, it's all right. Bill Bill's dead, I shot him, and he fell into the fire. This thing burned with him. It's over. I'm sorry, I can't let you out. The risk is too great, we both know it. 
Damn it, Bali. I'm telling you, I took care of it. Open this door immediately. That's an order. You've already given me my orders, sir. Bahu, please, it hurts. I can't take it, I art. I, I can't breath, cough, beg you. Forgive me, sir. I'm so sorry. My husband Thomas was devoted to this country as much as he was devoted to his family. Thank you all for joining us to say goodbye to him. It means a lot. Agent Bali, may I have a word with you in private? I'm truly sorry for your loss, Mrs. Bowman. What can I do for you? They haven't even let me see him, you know. The coffin was sealed. Maybe it's for the best. You get to remember him the way he was. No one will tell me the truth about what happened to my husband. They say it's top secret. But I need to know I have the right to know, God damn it. They say you were with him when it happened. Please, Agent Bali, tell me the truth. How did my husband die? Here's the truth. S.C. Bowman sacrificed his life to stop what we believe to be a highly dangerous creature. He walked into the building knowing he probably wouldn't come back. He ordered me to lock the door behind him and keep it that way. When the fire started, I obeyed. Order. You burned my husband alive. How dare you hide behind your orders? You have to believe me. This was the only way to. Do you believe yourself? Do you believe there's any reason, besides your own cowardice, that you didn't walk into the burning building to save the world? You're a murderer, Agent Bali. I wish you were in that grave instead of my husband. And I'm sure you will be soon. What happened? You look like you've seen a ghost. This is a cemetery, Dale. Just saying. Still a good reason to check with your psychiatrist, if you ask me. Anyway, time to get back to the office. You go ahead. I need to take care of something first. coordinates. So, this is where the sarcophagus was supposed to end up. And here's the number Bowman kept calling. Let's see. Who is this? President Barnes. Or should I call you Agent Stober? Oh yes, I know who you are. And I. I'll do everything I can to wipe you off the face of the earth, you murderous piece of filth. Oh, and by the way, there's no more black oil in Montana. Go look elsewhere if you still want it, bastard. Don't you dare hang up on me. Hello. So who's the next Bowman? I hope he'll keep us on the X-Files. Don't think I share your hopes here, partner. I could use a get out of the X-Files free card right now. No, I'm afraid I'm stuck with you until the end. Which, I think, is rather near. Considering. Oh, come on. You've already been irradiated. Lightning doesn't strike the same spot twice, so, I think you're good. Anyway, I've got to tell you something. It's about what really happened in Blairfield. And this is the intel that got Bowman killed, isn't it? Well, yeah. 
That's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, but I need to have a backup plan, in case I in case something happens. So, I need you to know about. President Barnes is not who everyone thinks he is. He's an imposter embedded by the syndicate. He's killed the actual president and is using Substance X to shapeshift into him. Wait, the same Substance X you instructed doctors to inject into my veins. And look how well you've turned out. Anyway, Bowman gave me these coordinates before he died. It's where Barnes wanted to shift the thing that was killing people in Blairfield. Promise you'll go there and find out what's happening even if I'm no longer around. You have my word, partner. But I'd prefer the usual way. You dragging me somewhere I'm exposed to a lethal dose of radiation and you find inconclusive evidence of alien existence. Agents, sorry to have kept you waiting. You can come in now. Thank you.